Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 9th of March, 2018. And what you are looking at is this lovely building right here in the United States called Fermilab. And Fermilab is a particle physics and accelerator laboratory. We've talked about this over the last few years pretty much ad nauseum. It's a smaller version, just like all the other versions that are scattered all over the planet. And their mission is to recreate the Big Bang and study the makeup of matter on a quantum scale. That's what they tell us. But that's not what I tell you they're doing. And that's not what many other people that delve into this arena quite often tell you either. And it turns out if you look at some of the information that the people that work there do on their personal time, they seem to agree with me big time. Let's take a look at this, shall we? This stuff was sent to me by a subscriber named Mark, Mark C, we'll call him. And this is artwork that was done by one of the employees at Fermilab. Now, what is it you're looking at? Well, let me zoom in for you, shan't we? This is the artwork that they're drawing. Do you see it? Does all this look familiar? You see this? Trolls, fairies, demons cooking over a cauldron. And here's what appears to be another cauldron. And out of the cauldron, out of the boiling pot, we're having what appears to be what they tell us are galaxies, stars, so forth, and so on. Okay, let me see if I can do this without screwing it up. This is queer, huh? Okay. Here's another picture, and it appears to show the city and what looks an awful lot like what they show us a nuclear uh, atomic explosion would be. But that's just me being a dick, right? But here's even more. Now, here's a cityscape. There's the ocean, or maybe it isn't. Who knows? It appears to be New York, New York City. Empire State Building, One World Trade Center, The Haunted Building, Two into One, Jackine and Boaz combined, Wheats and the Tares, whatever you want to call them. But then there seems to be some sort of incoming invaders from a very dark sky. But I could be completely and totally wrong. Who knows? Here's another one. Here's another picture by a Fermi Lab scientist. So... I just find it really unusual that their artwork, the people that work there, their own artwork basically depicts in art what I tell you in words. Do you understand that? Did I say, and I say that, do you understand that? Because did I say it properly? But as you can see, at some point, we'll open a door and something may come in or go out of it. Now, those aren't my words. These are old. You should know this. This is a very, very old article, and it's in the register, which isn't exactly a mainstream. As you can see, their little tagline, Biting the Hand That Feeds IT. Okay, this is a story from 2009. Everybody's poured all over this, and it says a top boffin. Now, that means a top official, like we call it in the United States, an official person. At the Large Hadron Collider says the Titanic machine may create or discover previously unimagined scientific phenomena and blah, blah, blah. And out of this door might come something or we might send something through it, said Sergio Bertolucci, the director of CERN. This is old news, but I'm just refreshing your memory. But think, look at these words. Think of what he said. And then look at this artwork by the Fermilab scientist. You see what I'm saying? This is art. Somebody sat down and took an incredibly long time to make all of these. And I would imagine if you spoke to the person that made these, because I have contacted him, I doubt he will hit me back, but I have contacted him because I'd like to know if he's one of the people that says he was inspired. Much like Tesla, much like Einstein, much like everybody of note throughout history, including Steve Jobs, they've either figured out how to decode human DNA because they were taking 
hallucinogenic drugs and it quote unquote came to them or they had a dream. Either way, what's going on is they're having demons, demonic entities coming to them and giving them information that mankind would otherwise never have in a million years. Because let me ask you something. How do you build something as large and grandiose and complicated, complex and unprecedented as CERN? How do you build it the first time around and it works? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, think about that. How do you even come up with this ideology that, hey, let's build a giant loop and remove all the air and we'll super cool it and we'll use electromagnets to fire photons at each other at 99.99999% the speed of light. And from that, we'll be able to take the information garnered and figured out the Big Bang. How do you come up with that? Well, that's fairly easy to explain, but most people won't listen. For time immemorial, people have spoken about things coming to them or the little voice in the back of your head. Let me tell you something. I have a little voice in the back of my head that lets me know when I'm crossing the line, when I'm about to do something wrong, and then I justify it. Well, this is the little voice telling me, if you do that, you damn well know it's wrong, and then this demon right here that demon is justification and this is the end game but on that note i digress but it makes sense because this is where all this comes up let alone the imagery let alone the artwork but think about the fact that these people are the ones that are actually using this these machines to help mankind and if you think about the story that they hand us it's nonsensical 50 years untold amounts of money time materials and labor went into building this machine to prove something that's actually theoretical the big bang is nonsensical and it's also theoretical it's unprovable but yet they've gone through all this time energy and effort to make this machine to recreate the moments after something that's never been proven does that make sense to you i hope it doesn't because it doesn't make any sense at all but i digress now, I haven't looked at these. This is uh, this is straight off the cuff. This right here, I can't really make heads nor tail of it. It's very blurry. But there's the, you know, the cube, the omnipresent, always there cube, because that's what they worship. And they've worshipped, worshipped it for time immemorial. And as you can see, Nicholson 1968's website, do you see what I see, breaks it down very well. Nicholson goes over everything. It's always had different names. Kronos, Dionysus, Atlas, Hercules, Saturn. And it's also incorporated. This imagery right here is Aleister Crowley's original design. This right here. And then if you just simply add these two things to it, you end up with the cube. And they're absolutely everywhere. It's in the middle of the meditation room at the UN. It's in the middle of the Star of David, Gateway, D-Wave, D-Wave, I mean, D-Wave in Fermilab, CERN, particle accelerators, they're trying to actively tear the veil, and then D-Wave will basically be the traffic cop. They're going to tear the veil, they're going to tear a hole in reality, and D-Wave's job is to, to stabilize that hole and keep it open, if that makes sense. I hope it does, at any rate. Can't really see these too well, but I did see this, and I don't, I'd just be guessing if I tried to look at this. I've got my glasses on and I still can't see it. Okay, there's the next image. I don't know why Justin Bieber's there. Next image, say no more. It's pretty much self-explanatory, right? Now this, I don't know if this is imagery or art, but this is very similar to the stuff that I found and I keep finding out in the desert of the Western United States. It's always like this. There's always a serpent and there's always a spiral, which is representative of a portal. More, more artwork from a scientist. 
These people believe in science, and yet this looks awfully religious or esoteric, no? And it shows the pyramid. It shows the pyramid, and I get it. I get it. But moving on. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Now this right here, I have no clue, but it looks like it's either A, ancient drawings, angelic drawings, or demonic drawings. One of the three, I'm just guessing, period. And this is a layout of the actual, the actual uh, Fermilab accelerator. You can see the token ring. You can see the FDDI ring, the gateway, Ethernet, Ethernet, the computers, the computers, so forth and so on. And Fermilab, 1985. And notice the very top. You have ancient Egypt. You have demons, goblins, and basically the apotheosis of man type thing going on here. And you see a large, large summoning sigil on the ground. Drawing things like this and then arranging certain smells, certain lights, certain times, and certain movements of the stars. And you will indeed find yourself face to face with a demon. More of the same. Happy birthday. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? This is just absolutely loaded. Loaded. Now, when you look at all these things, pi over 3, LX, and all the Hebrew writings, the mathematical equations, so forth and so on, chances are, and it's a really good chance, that these are all summoning formulas because they hide them in artwork as they always have. It's the hallmark of the secret societies. This is Rosalind Chapel in Scotland, and this allegedly contains instruction in the artwork to show you how to locate the Ark of the Covenant, which I believe is in Ethiopia being protected by a bunch of priests, believe it or not. But all throughout the chapel, built into all the architecture, all the decoration, all the decor is information that's allowing people to try, you know, they're, they're transmitting information through the building because they know it'll stand the test of time, which it has. Because do you have any idea how much time, material, and information would be needed to create this building? And yet they're all over the planet right now. And the explanations they give us for them are ludicrous. Half-truths at the very best. This temple in Scotland, as old as it is, has what appears to be DNA, everything in it. Things that they shouldn't know about whatsoever at all. And yet there it all is. But at any rate, I digress. Back to the pictures. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you get it now? Artwork, structures, so forth and so on. This is absolutely loaded because look at this picture. I'm sorry about the uh, moving it all around, but it is what it is. I'm getting a better computer and I'm probably going to give one my old one away if I can get all the information off of it. But look at this. Happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. You have the three lions, one facing justice, one facing... I don't know what that says. Rest, listen, I don't know. Physics, justice, I don't know what that one says. But look at all this information that's built into this, incorporated into this. This could be, I mean, because does that make sense with the number one next to it? There's Fermilab right there. There's what looks like an explosion. But this is a scientist. This is somebody, a man of science. Where do you think all this came from? You see what I mean? What do you think all this means? This is probably something that came to him in a dream and he drew it as best he could remember it because that's how it works. When these people get this information from fallen angels, that's just exactly how it works. And more of the same, more of the same. On and on and on. This would, To me, this would be the an image of an explosion, exploding photon and perhaps two dimensions facing each other, but I don't know, completely and totally guessing. Now this is beautiful. And this, for the flat earthers, is a boon because there's an alligator snapping turtle and on the back of it, everything going up, it's holding up the entire civilization. 
Research Castle, Accelerator Castle. Operation Support Groups, Do, Collider, Mint. Computers, CDE, Research Castle. Now feel free to pause this and look into this and try to decode it all you would like. And I'll be more than happy to play it because I'm just showing you this as I'm looking at it right now. Friends of Fermilab, you bet, you bet, only the best. Now look at this, look at this. How incredibly esoteric is all of this? This is what, this is called Friends, Friends of Fermilab. And of course you have the entire cube the entire cube situation going on, DNA strands, again, that mysterious symbol, mushrooms representing psychedelics or tripping, like I said, that's a great way. Altering your mind with hallucinogenics is a great way to go and meet people you're not supposed to meet. And that's just all there is to it. A lot of people want to do out of body, all this stuff. If God has information to get to you, it won't be through crazy stuff like this. That's all there is to it. As above, so below. I mean, it couldn't be any clearer than that. This would be the upside down. And that's exactly what they're talking about. And it's exact, It's beautiful because at least we know we're not going absolutely batshit insane. At any rate, there will be a part two or three to this. Richie from Boston, share this. This is important. I'm out.